Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is September 17th, 2017, and we are working on a new project. I found this at one of the supermarket, and I've been looking for this for a while, and so uh, I'm very excited to grow these. So we're going to do this hydroponically. These are Celtus lettuce, and they are very nice and crispy lettuce that you can use the leaves as well as the, the stems. So, um... Uh, they can grow quite large, so uh, we don't need too many. So um, what we're going to do first is start some seeds, and then once the seeds sprouted, I'm going to show you what the tent looked like and what, what to do next. So to start seeds, it's very simple. We're going to use Rockwool Cubes. Uh, I got these on Amazon. I will provide those links so that you can check them out if you want to buy the same exact cubes. And all you need is just plain water right out of your faucet. And what we're going to do first is soak these cubes and allow it to soak in water. Okay, so just let it sit there for a second, a few seconds and allow it to soak up the water as much as it can hold. And in the meantime, we'll cut this open and then take the seeds out okay so here is what the seeds look like they're very tiny they look very much like lettuce seeds so you only need two or three per cell just in case one of them or two of them won't sprout so now that the cubes has soaked up enough water we are going to pour this out so just pour it back into your container Then we are going to use a spoon. I'm just gonna, you know, open up this little opening here so that to allow seeds to get in there easily. And we're gonna grab a few seeds to put on each of those. All right, about two or three seeds per pocket is good enough. We're just going to close this up a little bit. You don't have to. You don't want to. And if you see one that's outside, just push it in. Okay, and that should be good enough. And now what you want to do is put it in a spot where there's plenty of light. And what I'm going to use is the arrow guard here. And I'm just going to place this, like, squeeze this in somehow. These peppers have really large leaves. <laughs> Something like that. That should be good enough. Or you have another spot that has really good light. That should work too. But the important is lighting. As soon as the seeds sprout, you want them to have as much light as possible. Because if you don't, then they'll grow very leggy. So I have a video on the proper way to start seeds. Uh, you can search my channel and or I'll link to, you, uh, to the in the description below so you can check it out. All right, that's all for now. We'll come back soon. All right, guys, it has been about three weeks now and my Celtis lettuce have grown quite a bit. So I have already taken a few out to grow in the arrow garden. And today I'm going to take one out to grow inside a cracky method. Right here, one gallon. And this container is from a dollar store. And basically it's just this. And then I cut the hole to fit a one and a half inch net cup on top. And these are just black plastic that I taped around the container to keep lights from getting through into the container. So what we're going to do today is we're going to fill this up with just water right out of the faucet. And I want the water to touch the bottom of my net cup. So I'm just going to fill it. Okay, that's about good enough right there. It touches the bottom of the net cup. So what we're going to do now is add some nutrients. And I'm using the DynaGrow. Uh, the grow version and I'm going to use five milliliter per gallon and I'm not going to adjust pH or anything like that I'm just going to add the nutrients and add the plant and 
and let's mix it up a little bit so that we can get everything all dispersed well. All right, next we're going to grab a plant and I think we're gonna use this small one. And there's some roots coming out to the bottom there. And what we're gonna do is fit it through here. And then put it on top. Okay, and then we're gonna add some pebbles to block light from getting through here, causing algae to grow. Then we'll move it to the resting spot. All right, it's gonna sit right there, getting morning sun, so that this area right here outside is going to get about four to five hours of sun, and then shade in the afternoon. And I'm growing microgreens there, so it's outside. So I will be back once there is progress, and I will update you. Alright guys, it has been exactly 13 days since I transplanted the Celtis lettuce into this red container, one gallon, and the plant is doing well. So it has grown quite a bit since we transferred it, and then let me show you the root system. It developed some nice roots right there. So now that the weather is cooler, um, the plant is growing really nice. So these uh, type of plants, they do enjoy cooler climate, like uh, 55 to 75 is, is good. So anything hotter than that, like 85, 95, they're, they're gonna they're gonna struggle. So uh, plant it out and then grow it when it's cooler. And because it's sitting outside, um, look, there's some bugs on there. Look, these are the, let me show you. See there? Those are the cucumber beetles. They do eat these type of lettuce, so. If you see those on your plant, just remove them. But you see, here's here's where it's sitting, just right outdoor, along with my other uh, unit there. This is solar power one, and it's slow maintenance. I'm really not doing anything. It's just come out here and check on it every so often. But that's it. So uh, it's a nice experiment to do. It's gonna grow really fast after this. All right, guys, welcome back. It has been exactly 21 days. So that's, it's been three weeks since I transferred the plant into this unit. And it is doing really, really well. No maintenance, it's just been sitting there. I haven't refilled the water or anything like that. It's, it's, it's been on its own. So let's see what's happening here in the root system. Look at that. It just grew a ton of roots. And, uh, let me see if I can show you the water level. How far it, low it is. See those those there ha, are damaged from those cucumber beetles. We've been chewing on it. And there it is. Uh, the water level is about almost halfway. Not quite. Still have a good amount of water left. So I'm gonna still leave it here to allow it to grow some more. And uh, once they get larger, it's gonna drink up the water quicker. All right guys, it has been 28 days now and the plant is still doing amazing. So the last few days, the temperature dropped to about 42 degrees in the evening and it stay cold all the way up until during the day and that would get up to around 53 degrees or something like that but man it the cold temperature did not affect the plant at all it's still growing it's uh, it's gotten a little bigger and i think the roots have gotten longer as well look at that it's still nice and healthy i don't want to pull it all the way out because it's difficult to put it back but um yeah, it's doing well. I gave it a little bit more n nutrients because it was going low. But um, yeah, maintenance free, 28 days. Um, that's after the two weeks of starting the plants in rock wool. So it's not too bad. It's, uh, it's maintenance free. Uh, you don't have to do much. Uh, once it's transplanted, um, that's it. You just watch it grow and 
leave it outside in in the element so uh it's a very nice experiment it's fun to do effortless so i recommend you try it out um as i mentioned before lettuce like cooler weather and it even got down to 42 degrees and it was fine so uh if you live in a place where it's it it can be right around 50 degrees you can try this outdoor and uh i hope it will work great for you so uh there it is guys i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you so much for watching